stop U.S. aid to Israel, stop the genocide, stand with Palestine, free Palestine. That's what the DNC is concerned about. They're concerned about the thousands that are going to be here all week, maybe tens of thousands. They're concerned about the unity, especially the black Palestinian solidarity that we've built in this city and in this country. A powerful movement in which Palestinian people are supporting the movement against police crimes across the country. And the movement against police crimes is supporting Palestinian self-determination. Make no mistake, Joe Biden can turn off that tap of money and funding immediately. immediately. He could do it right now. He could have done it back in October. The fact that he didn't means he supports this genocide, that he's got the blood of 40,000 Palestinians on his hands, and that he and Kamala Harris and Antony Blinken and Jeffries and Schumer and Pelosi and Schakowsky and Durbin and all the top Democrats are complicit. Right now, there's a horrific genocide of Palestinians taking place that's being aided and abetted by the Democratic Party leadership and its representatives in Genocide Joe, Killer Kamala Harris, and Baby Killer Blinken. These genocidal politicians would rather that they have their celebratory affair over in the United Center unbothered, despite its funding of the Israeli genocide that's left at least 40,000 Palestinians dead, 2 million displaced, and the entire Gaza Strip reduced to rubble. The existence of this coalition, of this march, is a testament to how the very working and oppressed people these Democrats claim to represent will no longer stand for the currently existing order of our tax dollars being sent to fund a genocide. Four years ago, Voces de la Frontera Action built a Latine and youth voter immigrant network that was critical in Wisconsin in defeating Trump's fascist administration. And we are committed to do that again as part of a broader movement to block the threat of a second term Trump administration more empowered and ready to implement mass deportations and strip away decades of social progress, including our very right to organize. But we stand here with you today, the Democratic Party, that our commitment to defeating fascism does not mean that we do not make demands on the Democratic Party. We have waited too long for the promise of immigration reform for 11 million essential workers and their families who worked in the pandemic, yet are not treated as the heroes they are. We call on Harris and Waltz to deliver on immigration reform in the first 100 days of the new administration. We stand in solidarity with Palestinians for an end to the funding of a genocidal war in Gaza. As immigrants, we too understand the role of the U.S. government in supporting dictatorships abroad to serve corporate interests.